if music does anything, it does make you feel like you're not you're not the only one and you're not alone. I can just feel it. We can do this on our own. It's funny because I can talk about it from a singer's perspective and like a songwriter's perspective, but also like when I was a teenager, even before I joined the band, um, music was always such a constant in my life. Like I remember my parents breaking up just before I joined the band and I would just listen, I would just always constantly have my headphones in and it was almost like I was blocking out the rest of the world and like music was the only thing that I felt, not that it could understand me, but like I felt so connected to the lyrics and stuff like that and I felt like someone out there, whoever was writing those songs, kind of understood what I was going through. <laughs> Eventually when I joined the band, it was nice to be able to have an like an outlet. Don't stand there and tell me you're honest and truthful. You told me that you love me while telling her the same now it's over. I'm better off without you. Better off without you. So we started out when we were teenagers, I was like 16. And we started off as a band called All Year Round and then we were together for about five or six years. And then we eventually evolved and changed our name to Stansbury, just because our music changed so much, just from growing older and going through, you know, changes of life. Like Paul went through a breakup, I went through a breakup. George had some, yeah, like issues. And we were all going through this weird feeling. I know that I especially was going through something that I couldn't really explain and I felt like I wasn't good enough and I felt like I could never live up to anybody's expectations and um, all of these dark feelings like would creep into my mind. So at that point I was just like gushing about how I felt. <laughs> So, and a lot of people have come to me and said, like, you know, I feel like that too. And so, yeah, it's almost like a support system. I live with Jackie, um, she's my housemate. I'm a youth ambassador for Headspace Adelaide and Headspace No Longer. One of my best friends and my housemate, Ella, um, works for Headspace and she's studying psychology. I was a client first at Headspace a few years back um, in year 12. I was going through a bit of a tough time. They helped me a lot. The idea of bringing music into it was because of my um, own sort of personal attachment to music and how much it helped me. So that was where the idea came from. Over the years, a few people have um, messaged it, whether it's me or George or Paul, um, messaged us about um, how they're feeling and their mental health and like some people we've actually been quite concerned about. Someone had messaged her like who knew the band and sort of was seeking help through her and sort of, you know, asking Jackie for some advice. Jackie just sort of felt a bit out of her depth um, in sort of not knowing how to answer. Fortunately, I was home when this happened and, you know, I could sort of say what the correct sort of thing to say back was, I guess, the safest thing to say back. Headspace do such a great job and, you know, it's such a great service for people who are feeling that way. So the more people that know about it, the better. I put it to Jackie um, that I think we should do a collaboration and put a show together and um, as soon as I said that Jackie was on board and she said yes like this is something that I think would help heaps. So that's when the idea came about that we would collaborate and do a show together. It sold out which was awesome. She fucking sold this place out so go to sell it out. And it was really beneficial because I know a lot of kids from that show did end up, you know, speaking to someone from Headspace or speaking to them when they were at the show. Now, I want to take some time out to quickly say a very, very, very big thank you to Headspace for teaming up with us on this show. We thought, you know, we'd start off as Stansbury doing something good, you know, something 
beneficial. The live shows are really great um, because you just know that everyone in that room has experienced their own sort of emotional ordeal of some sort. It might be small, might be large, might be a huge impact on their life, but they've all experienced something and if they're all there to see Stansbury play, they've probably listened to the same songs you have and had their own emotional um, attachment to it. And it's great while you're there just to listen to the song. There is a huge vibe full of emotion. You can really feel it through the whole live show. And it's just great to know that everyone has had an emotional impact from the music. I found your secret, deep disbelief from the Sometimes I get like little glint, like if when people are singing along or you see someone who are like so passionate about, you know, a certain line of the song, that does like touch me. Definitely, that's probably the most fulfilling part, seeing how people react to the song. The best we can do is, you know, we like, I write for my sister or I write for Paul or I write for, you know, the people around me. But if, if someone outside of my, like, you know, extended family feels something and it helps them, then that's the, you know, job done. There's nothing better than that, I don't think. I don't think you can get any better than that. Take me down to the river bend.